So there I was lying in bed at 6 a.m., just staring up at the ceiling, trying to convince myself to get out of bed. I was a teenager. My alarm had just gone off and I did not want to get up or get ready or go to Ms. Hansen's first period class. Now, my mom knew this about me, that like most teenagers, I had a really tough time getting out of bed in the mornings. And one day, she did the most genius thing to not only get me out of bed, but to change my perspective on mornings and life forever. She burst through the door, flipped on the light, and started dancing about while singing, get up get going, get your spirit showing, get up, get moving, get your body grooving, get up, get dancing, time to see Miss Hansen. And I was shocked and surprised and a little bit horrified, as you might expect a teenager would be. But that little song, that happy, energetic little morning jingle, became the soundtrack to any and every instance where I needed the motivation just to get up and do what I needed to do in adolescence and adulthood. And although my mother didn't know the science behind what she was doing, her whistle while you work philosophy to parenting turned out to be an example of a powerful tool for parents to use to teach their kiddos important life lessons. I'm a clinical psychologist. I've worked with many parents looking for ways to get their kiddos engaged and doing what they want them to do. So I'm going to tell you the secret to getting your kiddos, whether big or small, to work with you rather than against you. It's what I call the learning trifecta, play, repetition, and song. Now, according to research, when applied to learning, play, repetition, and song are the most surefire way to enhance your kiddo's ability to learn and engage. First, let's talk about play. In the past decade, research was conducted where school children were taught the basics of geometry in one of three different ways. Lecture, guided play, or non-guided play. Researchers found that children who were taught in the guided play manner could identify non-standard shapes better than children who were taught via lecture or non-guided play. This means that children can use new information in innovative ways if they're taught in a playful, structured manner. So if you make the learning experience enjoyable and playful for your children, you're unlocking their true learning capabilities. Next, we have repetition. Over the years, there's been various research done over the span of the past six decades or so that shows that repetition is key in the function of learning and memory. Some of that research shows a particular importance in repetition for the learning of school children. So what does this mean for your kiddos? It means that when they play their favorite movie for the eighth time in a row, they're learning from the repetition of it. The more you can repeat with them the information and the behaviors you're wanting them to remember, the better they'll remember it. Finally, we have song. In recent years, Ulm University in Germany studied students' ability to both recall and comprehend written text that was presented to them in one of three different ways. Written, spoken, or sung. Results showed that children who received the, inf the text via song could significantly better comprehend the text compared to children who received the text in written or spoken form. Now this may come as no surprise to those of you who grew up learning via song, whether on TV or at school, or maybe now you have children who are learning via song through TV or in school, or even through various YouTube videos. But what if I told you 
that you don't have to be tethered to the TV or to your phone or to YouTube in order to use the power of the learning trifecta, play, repetition, and song. What if I told you that you, as their parent, can captivate those creative little minds that are just craving enjoyable learning experiences? I'm going to teach you the magic of the learning trifecta in the form of jingles on the fly. Now, I imagine that some of you are saying, but Dr. Rhodes, I'm not creative. How am I supposed to sing a song or just let loose and be playful and come up with something in the moment in front of my kids? Won't I be embarrassed or won't they be embarrassed? Well, and I say, get embarrassed. It's okay. Letting go of being comfortable is actually a very important part of the play process. And look, I'm a doctor. We are not a people that are known for our creativity or playfulness or musical capabilities. If I can step outside my comfort zone and sing a little song, you absolutely can. And your kiddos are going to be thrilled just by the fact that you're doing something new and fun. If you set the stage for play, your kiddos are gonna follow suit. They're gonna be way more focused on having fun than on your performance. Remember, this is all about the fun. So my gift to you today is this easy to use format of three separate jingles where you and your children just fill in the blanks. But first, Let's do a little Kid Training 101 so that you can be familiar with the basics of learning and memory. These five tips are going to make the teaching process a whole lot smoother for you and your child or team. First is make it fun. Be goofy. Use simple language that they can understand and really bring the energy. The more you put into it, the more they'll get out of it. Second is timing. Look for every opportunity to teach them in the moment that the event or activity is happening. Unless you or they are hungry or tired or upset or in a bad mood. Third is consistency. Practice these skills as often as you can every time the learning opportunity comes up. That way your kiddos will have more of a chance to absorb the lesson. So for example, if you're wanting to teach your children a routine, use that song every time they're engaging in that routine until they get it on their own. Fourth is to reinforce. So if you react in a positive way when they do the thing you want them to do, they're much more likely to do it. So for example, if you say thank you and maybe give them a fist bump when they put their bike away after using it, they're a lot more likely to put the bike away. Fifth is repetition. So the more you practice something, the better they'll learn it, the better they'll remember it, the more likely they'll do it. Great. So now that we've got the basics of Kid Training 101 down, how might you remember these tips without having to play this video over and over again. Huh, if only I had like a jingle or something to help you remember. I know. One, one, make it fun. Two, two is for timing. Three, three, consistency. Four is reinforce. See what I did there? Five, five is repetition and we do it all again once more. Awesome. So now that you know you need absolutely no singing talent to be able to do this, let's get down to the three jingles that are going to help you across three different parenting tasks. So the first is to teach a routine. Now you want to do this with your children as they're engaging in the routine you want them to teach. It has three elements that you're going to include and the rest is up to you. The first element is an attention grabber. 
Use a word like hey or woohoo. You can clap twice or even use your child's name. Anything to get them to participate and encourage engagement. The second is to name one step of the action you're wanting them to take. For example, if you're teaching them the routine of putting on their socks and shoes before they leave the house, you might start with put on your socks. The third element is the purpose of the routine. So that could be gonna leave the house or we're going to go to school or let's go see Nana. So the attention grabber, name the action, name the desired purpose. So along with the little tune I created, plus some help from some fabulous parents and kiddos, let's see what this looks like in action. Hey, we're gonna clean up our toys, clean up our toys, clean up our toys. Hey, we're gonna clean up our toys so we can have screen time. Woo! We're gonna put on a sweater, put on a sweater, put on a sweater. Woo! We're gonna put on a sweater so we can go for a walk. Woo! We're gonna put on his leash, put on his leash, put on his leash. Now we're gonna put on his leash so we can go for a walk. Here we go. So that's a basic format that you can use for any simple routine. Just pick your attention grabber, choose one action at a time, and then end with a desired purpose. And again, you can customize this any way that you choose. Pro tip number one is change your voice to emphasize certain words. That's gonna make it more engaging and enjoyable. You can also choose to pause and allow your kiddo to say the next word, like socks or shoes, and that adds an element of fun as well. Next is a jingle you want to use to teach your children to use a response to a variety of different situations. So for example, if you want to teach your child how to ask for help, that's the response they're going to give across many different situations. And you can use this jingle to help them generalize when to ask for help. So the first element is the situation. You say, if such and such happens, and you'll use several different examples. The next element is you say, what do you do? The third element is the response you're wanting to teach them. For example, you ask for help. Now remember, we're wanting to use repetition for the part that you want your child to learn. So that's the response. So while the situation will change each time you go through the song, the response is always going to be the same. In our example, asking for help. So now let's see what the parents and kiddos came up with in this next video. If your bike gets a flat, what do you do? You ask for help. If you can't tie your shoe, what do you do? You ask for help. If you can't reach a spoon, what do you do? You ask for help. So that was a fun little jingle to help you teach your children how to use the same response for a variety of different behaviors. You just name one situation at a time, say, what do you do? And end with a desired response. Now, this doesn't have to rhyme or have the same number of syllables. You're just filling in the blanks and really bringing the fun and the energy. So pro tip number two, add actions or movements to your jingle. This adds another modality that really helps us commit the whole thing to memory. If we use a combination of visual, verbal, and movement-based learning, you're more likely to remember what you're taught. Our last jingle is what I call the whistle while you work phenomenon. So this is a song where you can be goofy, have fun, and just make a boring task more bearable. This jingle also has three elements. You just name the task that you're doing, say, I'm having fun. Then say that that task that you're doing is your number one. So this is a jingle to do while you're engaging in that not so fun task, trying to make it more enjoyable. Let's see what our parents and kiddos came up with in this next video. While washing the dishes, we're having fun. Washing the dishes is our number one. 
Washing the dishes, we're having fun. Washing the dishes is our number one. So that jingle really has a lot of room for improvising. You just really bring the energy and have a good time with it. So you're just going to name the task that you're doing or some goofy action. You say, I'm having fun or something completely outrageous. And then you say that the thing you're doing is your number one or not. It's really up to you, whatever you're wanting to do with it. Pro tip number three is change things up to make it interesting. You can make the task fun no matter how you fill in the elements because the whole point is to use your creativity to pass the time in a fun way. You can even throw in a guitar solo if you feel so inclined. So that's it. Three little jingle formats are my parting gift to you. Now get up, get going, get your spirit showing. Open up your creative energy and use the learning trifecta to play, to sing, to learn. Get up, get going, get your spirit showing. Get up, get moving, get your body grooving. Get up, get dancing, time to see Miss Hanson. Get up, get going, get your spirit showing.